back here to Acme for the final part of the handicap division title match. And I got a good one brewing here. It's a scratch match. They're both getting 56 pins. Caitlin Schweitzer has made mincemeat of this step ladder final so far. She qualified fourth and has roared through three matches here to take on top seed Zane Hayes. Zane, meanwhile, has led most of this tournament. He shared the lead a couple times, including a three-way tie, but he uh, pretty much ran the board since then. Low score today, we're on the turnpike pattern, one of the tougher sport patterns. It was a 60-down cut, and it only took plus 10 to make the finals. And Caitlin is going to just shave that five pin. She's been a demonstrative too. She is having the run of her life. We're talking only 137 average bowlers here, and she won the first match over Toby Shepard, who always bowls well at Acme. Then shot 200 scratch to beat Nick Perini. That's only her second 200 scratch ever in JBT. And then got by Teresa Kelly to get to top seed Zane. Just a nice basic game. Sometimes that can work well on these tough sports shots. You get the handicap bowlers who, uh, you know, their average is getting higher, but they're still not quite as accurate. And you don't have the miss room on this. And that's putting it mildly. Sometimes that straight ball can pay dividends. I thought we'd see a couple younger slash lower averages this weekend. And not so many yesterday, but a couple today. This is a tough spare for a straight ball bowler to get a carry out that back pin. However, she makes it and lets us know. Wow. That looks easy. Good heavens. If you haven't seen Caitlin in a while, you might know her as Caitlin Norton Hesser. And believe it or not, uh, you know, it's the junior bowlers tour, but she's a married woman. She's now married to Brian over there. So, uh, yeah. Any age, any average, any marital status. We don't care if you're 21 and under. Come on out and bowl. I don't think she bowled since last year in Acme. Could have been. It's been a while. Thank you, color commentary from Josh Alvarez. Well done. How's those fries coming, Thomas? Nope, still? I'm... Oh, my goodness. It's too much. All right, get it to go box for the director. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, <laughs> speaking of having seen in a while, last time I saw this guy bowling right now, he's about three feet nine and talk like this. <laughs> I was like, I'm Zane Hayes and I'd like to check in. Yeah, I'm Zane Hayes, and I'd like to miss that spare to make this a uh, wide open match. Everybody was asking Zane, who's Kyle's other brother, to come back and bowl. When's Zane going to come bowl? When's Zane going to go bowl? Hopefully they'll ask him back again because he roared to the top seed. Maybe they're not so happy back after all. But right now, he's in big trouble. He's trailing by 35 with two frames to go. Anything can happen with the lower averages, but it does. Uh, requires him to not mess up anymore. All right. Can barely finish the sentence before he gets a strike there. Those ninth frame strikes are so meaningful. Can Caitlin finish off this amazing run? Ninth frame, spare up. Doing the right thing, just keep on touching that head pin. Hopefully leave yourself something makeable. She is, she does. Courtney Lieber and Courtney Nicholas uh, split the women's series this weekend. They played each other both times in the title match. Green won yesterday, Courtney smoked her today. Five pins no gimme for anybody on Turnpike. She's gonna hit it in the schnoz. Deep breath from her as she uh, Comes off the approach there. Let me see. Nine out would be 179. The best Hayes can do is 177. So nine on this ball will win it. Eight out would guarantee a tie. One frame away from finishing off a dramatic win. She also was out of the cut with one game to go. Here's the shot. Looks all right. Oh yes, she gets the mixer. Brian is beside himself over here in the corner as well he should be because his wife just locked up a title right there. Okay, picture of you. Oh, we're doing it now? Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop! <laughs> oh, yeah, so you take off your glasses. I try to. My youth ball, my youth ball, you know, exterior. So Caitlin was shot 149 to go to minus 16 after game set when there was minus one to make the cut. Minus 16 and the cut was plus at the time and then that 238 essentially call that her first stepladder match. 
because she had to yeah. go big there or else she wouldn't have even be bowling these games and then roars through the field for her first career title. My goodness. With another huge game for her, 191 scratch. That's plenty. She goes, I don't know what happened. How'd that happen? So two big first time wins today here at Athens. Good to see. You. Two more potential Tournament of Champions entrants. For Zayn, a great day comes crashing down here in the title match, but uh, that's still a great result for him as well. Thank you. 